Hello everyone and welcome to my gameplay of Doctor Who The Edge of Reality. Um, this is a new game that just came out today um, on all good consoles and every console is good so we don't need to start that debate. Um, just so happened to be playing this one on the Xbox. Um, so yeah this is The Edge of Reality which I believe is kind of a reworked game um, that may I think it's called The Edge of Time. Um, it was like a VR game that came out some time ago. This is kind of like an expanded edition of it, I think. There's new content in it, maybe new story stuff. Um, and obviously it's not in VR, so you get to play it non-VR, I'm guessing. I think it's just a bit of extension from that story. So it's not really a re-release, it's like a re-tweak, I guess, with new elements. Um, so we have Jodie Whittaker reprising her role as the Doctor in this um, for like the main story. I think you're kind of like her companion-esque kind of deal. Um, you can see her TARDIS there in this loading screen, which looks awesome. I love her TARDIS exterior. Um, and I believe David Tent is also in this as the Tenth Doctor. Um, I believe it's more so a cameo appearance, so I don't know exactly when he uh, turns up, but he does at some point. Um, outside of like a few trailers and images, I don't really know what to expect. Plot-wise, I have no idea. Um, so I'm excited to kind of delve into it. I don't know how long it is, um, so how many parts this playthrough will be, no idea. We'll find out. Based on the price, I don't expect it to be particularly like super long, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but as long as the story's good, I don't really mind. I think the Cybermen are in it at some point, with a nice cool little design. I think the Whipping Angels might be in it, I might be lying. The last game that Maze Theory, who made this game, um, did was The Lonely Assassins, which was on mobile or Steam. Um, I also had a full Let's Play of that on my channel, so check that out. Um, and I really enjoyed that, so I'm looking forward to this as well. Um, so maybe I'm just thinking of that, because that had the Weeping Angels as the main uh, villains. Maybe they're in this as well. I'm not quite sure. I'm sure there'll be a few kind of surprise things showing up. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to check this out. I've been waiting on it for a long time. It got delayed a couple of times. Um, fine tweaking it. I think at the time of recording this, it's still delayed on the Switch for another couple of weeks. Um, it was supposed to come out today as well, but I think they've probably just found a few issues with it, which is fair enough. Um, but yeah, this is on the Xbox Series S. So I'm excited to delve in and see what we have in store for uh, this little adventure. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, I am uh, in a laundrette. I wasn't expecting that. Next to interact. Hello, dirty clothes. The scariest thing we've seen in Doctor Who history. That one's cycle. Oh, we can pick up detergent. Isn't that nice? I can hear a phone ringing. I'm probably supposed to answer it, but I'm going to have a look around. Can I pick up this? Oh, I can. Fun. Examine. All right. If you ever want to know what a coffee cup looks like, there you go. And detergent. Rosy reds. Nice. Change available from the attendant. Oh, nice neon sign. I was expecting it to be night. I think it's actually maybe during the day, based on that. But yeah, interesting. Um, oh, a basket. I don't know why I'm so excited about a basket, but I am. And if you want to see it in detail, there you go. Look at the shadowy. Ooh, exciting. Uh, yeah, the place is a bit of a dump, I must say. Look at all these coffee cups and magazines. Oh, what's that? is that a cat? Cat. Ah, oh, hello. That cat monthly. I want to subscribe to that. What else do we have? We have Global Informative, and we have Power Magazine. Oh. Oh, you can put them away. That's wholesome. Ah. Okay. 16 minutes past 9. Friday the 24th of September. Oh, it's my sister's birthday. Happy birthday to my sister. Um, let it bin. Look at that. The arrogance. Bin right there. Please use it. Someone's just left a coffee cup right there. Rude. So, oh. Oh. Someone on the phone in the next room, which is actually quite spooky. Hello. I'm guessing that's probably one of like, the developers or something. Service washes must be prepaid. All right. Um, oh, Coal Hill School Summer Fair. Saturday 12th of May. Well, any Doctor Who fan can probably recognise Coal Hill School. Cat's been found. That's good. Want to know what's really happening in East Forest? Sunday record fair. I wonder how many of these are Easter eggs, how many of these are actually like things that can happen in the game. I mean, that post is a bit concerning. So is the staticky screen. Ah, 
Oh, is it this that's going off? Machines need to clean. It's actually quite creepy. The thing in VR is probably a cool idea to make it creepy. Imagine the infrastructure of time and space is a hard drive, and all living matter, everything that ever was or will be, is software. Well, someone's unleashed a virus that's attacking the hard drive and the software, meaning reality itself is being hacked, wiped, degraded. This reality virus is corrupting the past, present, and future. Great. Those creatures are hydrogs. Vicious amphibians, sometimes used as guards by races like the Stenza and Zygons. They're deadly carnivores with no table manners and a taste for human flesh. Oh. They shouldn't even be in this system. We can thank the reality virus for them showing up here. I think that's a Dalek then. Is that Dalek light? Then they'll smash out of the machines. So you've got to get out of there sharpish. Okay. Looks like there's only one exit. Mm. Through the back door in the manager's office. Be careful of whatever you do. Please don't say don't blink. Oh, it is a Dalek, look! Oh my god, that's actually quite creepy. I've always found I don't find the Daleks scary when I'm watching Doctor Who. But uh, when I went to Doctor Experience and like they're right there, I actually find them really creepy. Okay, that is... 30 volt battery, which I'm guessing just goes in there. Great. Hooray! Yeah, it's the seventh doctor's umbrella. But before you ask, I can't send anything else. Not from here. Anyway, open the safe, grab your present, and do I saw something uh, glowing here. Let me see what it was. Oh, there's just like collectibles, maybe. You've got to find the combination to the safe. It's four digits. If it was my combination, I'd go for 1019 personally. Lowest four digit safe prime number, obviously. 1019. But I bet the manager used a pair of two digit numbers. Numbers that meant something to him. Okay. Have a poke yeah. around and see if you can find out what they were. Okay. Take a photo back of this, maybe. And see if there's anything written on the back of it. Okay, fourteen. You've got to find the combination to the safe. Yeah, it's I know, four Doc. Digits. I'm if trying. It was my combination. I go for ten nineteen personally. Oh. Four digit safe prime number, obviously. Is this but a I bet thing? the manager used a pair of two digit numbers. Eighty three. Numbers that meant something to him. Have a poke around and see if you can find out what they're Have a look on the back of it. You never know. Call Tina, sixteen Tuesday. Jane Smith. Server Jane Smith. Right, so we've got eighty three and fourteen. Which way round? I don't know. Hooray! Ah, oh, the sonic screwdriver! I love my sonic screwdriver, so don't lose it. Okay. So we can open things now. Oh, but now I'm out in the dangerous, dangerous streets. Oh, hello, alien spaceship. How are you doing? That 
Just move. I saw you move. Oh. Right, I should probably avoid being seen by that. Should I? Chris Ferguson's jacket. That's fun. There's gonna be like a thing from each doctor at some point then. Oh. I like it when things glow. Yeah, just walk into the dark shipping container, Liam. That's a fantastic idea. I'd absolutely be the first to die in a horror film. Oh. That's busted. Somehow we need to fix it. I'm guessing I'm supposed to be activating this to uh, move that out of the way so I can carry on. I see a glowy thing over here. There we go. That's what we need. Okay. When in doubt, look around a lot more because you've missed something. speaking to me and I feel like it's supposed to be making sound. Just talking about a radio and a workbench, however. I see neither of those things. Oh, it's fish fingers and custard. Oh, here we are. This is different. Is that the radio? Do me a favour, would you? Put this old radio on the workbench. I can get through to you easier if it's out in the open. Okay, I can hear it now. I just think it gave me that dialogue a bit early. Because I was nowhere near that radio. Sorry to interrupt. Do me a favour, would you? Put this old radio on the workbench. I can get through to you easier if it's Thank out you. in the open. Thanks. Look, that door won't hold the Hydrox for long. We've got to get you out of there as fast as we can. So, you've got to knock up a nifty little device that'll help you escape. You're going to need three things. First, the radio I'm speaking to you through. We can take that one off. Good. You'll also need a power source, some sort of battery, and something to transmit a signal. A satellite dish would do. Okay. Battery and satellite dish, then. Oh, is this Totter's Lane? Yeah, Foreman. Ah, This is where it all began, folks. So this is where the Doctor and Susan lived when we first met them. Way back when. Oh, you are gonna love this bit. Tardis? Oh 
Oh my god, this is like the dream this is happening to me. sequence. Welcome aboard. Come in then. Thank you. Make yourself at home. Ooh. I like how like it's all structured with this. Give you a guided tour, but we're up against it. We can't get distracted. I'm marooned at the end of time and space. I have to cobble together a vortex manipulator to get back to where I should be. That way I can deal with the reality virus and whoever created it. I need three pieces of Zyton to power the manipulator through the time vortex. Getting the Zyton is where you come in. And if you want a reminder of what's at stake, take a look behind you. Ooh. That's what's at stake. Your world and countless others. So you've got to find those three pieces of Zyton. And let's get one thing absolutely straight. One very important thing. We are so calling them time crystals from now on because that sounds way cooler. This looks great. The hologram is going to be patchy from now on. I'm guessing it's the reality virus messing with the visuals. Okay, get back to the if they like the lit the actual set down. in the show like this the instead of like it overly yellow, mode. I think I'd Don't enjoy it a lot more. Light? Just doesn't know you yet, but there's some stuff autopilot doesn't cover. You have to locate the first time crystal yourself. That panel you can see is your interface with the TARDIS. Step up to it, and I'll guide you through what you need to do. Ready? Oh. Okay. As a wise man once said, <laughs> Alonzi. I understood that reference. Okay, that one, that one, that one. We need to find out where and when the first time crystal is. This should help locate it. stuff's going on. Don't know who that was. Don't know what just happened. I'm just going to roll with it. Oh. What was that? Did you just see that thing climb along the floor? That was horrible. Ah! Oh. It's really dark, isn't it? We could probably use some light. A torch. 
stick. Nothing can stop me now. Oh, good bones, but I'm going to focus on the guitar instead. Hmm, what that is? Oh, I'm going to like when there's two boots to take. Or a green one of those. Oh good, let's descend into this cavern. Okay. Ah, uh, hello. Blue one here. Use the side on that. These trucks look like they can be moved. I agree, and I think we have to move them like that. Okay, now I've placed that, I can't move it, so I'm guessing that's in the right place. Okay, I think what I need to do here is there's uh, six positions I need to put them in. I've only got five things, five of these installed. I don't have another blue one, I don't think. So I think I need to keep exploring and find a blue one. So I still haven't gone this way, for example. I chose to go up here instead, and I think you can carry on around for a bit. Right here. So hopefully, this way, there'll be another blue thing. Oh, see, what's that? What was that? Oh, I'm see, look. detecting that. another glitch, and I think something's trying to get through. <gasps> That's a Cyberman. That's absolutely a Cyberman. Oh, heck. Should be excited, really, because Cyberman are my favourite villains, but... Right with this place. <sighs> see, I actually find them quite creepy. I'm going to keep looking around just in case there's more secrets. Oh, I see there's another camp here. Go away. Oh! Um, I don't know if that's the seventh Doctor's or the fifth Doctor's. They're quite similar. that whiskey? Oh, no, it didn't mean lovely. Right, okay. Well, that's what I needed to do then. So I've got another thing now, so let's head back and install that. Three across, one down from the red one. One, two, three. I think it goes there. Pull that. Hooray! I did the thing. And I think I lifted this thing over here. Try hitting it from different sides. Just get slashing red. Which, ah, okay. Then that lights up that. Oh. It's telling me the order, isn't it? So it's the top one, which we've done. Then it's the bottom one on the left. It's the two rights. The other left and down. Two rights. The other left one. And. This looks nice and horrible. Excited about this. Ooh, look at that. This Lovely. Is now sponsored by the friendly assassins of Pulgarius. Friendly Fire. assassins. If someone mm. you know is mildly Doubt. irritating or has the cheek to be more attractive than you are, why not have them incinerated by a member of our helpful customer care team? First target oh. only two hundred town marks. Me and Jerry used to play cards here. Me and Jerry. The door leading to supposed to know who this person is, I think. This ship uses a fiber optic laser interface. State of the art stuff. I helped to install it. So if you want to take control of this ship and set me free, you're going to have to get busy with some lasers. Great, I'm so excited about that. Okay. I can grab that. That needs to go somewhere. 
do that, but the other way. Oh, I don't mean. Did, so I've got that now. Nice. Okay, that wasn't as difficult as I feared it would be. the gravity of the situation. Oh. Hey, 3D glasses. In case of avoid stuff. Oh no. At least you do look like people. So that's nice. If there was a malfunction in our life support system. Yeah, I can see that. Two of you are dead. If you repair the ship systems and set us free, we will help you. We will take care of you. That sounds ominous. Nope. Well, I didn't say yes, but okay. I guess I'm doing it. I'm Emma. Sorry, we've already done that. Emma. They're just so pleased you're here to rescue me. I've been locked up for ages. I'm over here. Over here. Emma. Some bad news for you, my friend. Emma, I am sorry. I am so sorry. You were originally the Lucia Miner's emergency life support system, designed to protect the ship's crew. When the Slicers took over the craft and killed them, you couldn't accept that loss. You adopted the characteristics of a crew oh. member, probably your favorite. That's dark. And over the years, you've come to fully believe in the construct you created. My precious. Hello. I've managed to transmit the TARDIS into the main body of the ship. Go to it! Now! All life support systems you think corrupted. Can I just... Oh, yeah. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Thank you for flying with the SS Lucia Minor. Whew. Well. That was an experience. You downloaded Emma into the Sonic screwdriver. Oh. I offered the Slicers the same chance of escape, but they chose to go out in a blaze of... Well, you can't really call it glory. Okay, we've got a second time crystal to get our mitts on. The TARDIS is going to transmit Emma's thoughts into the translator, so you'll be able to hear her wherever you are. All the knowledge well, that's she handy. I'm allowed you to pay a cheaper voice actor, memory. I'm sure. I'm having so much more appreciation for this TARDIS set with this game. I think it's in the time cabinet of the late, but Magnus Greel, which makes my spidey senses start to tingle big time. <laughs> Let's take a closer look where we are. Evil is waiting. Good luck. Nice. I don't know why it suddenly decided to stop showing me subtitles, but there you go. Ooh. This is fun. Look at this. I think it's around oh. here somewhere. Wow. It's not great. Like Peter Capaldi to me. Oh, auto on hand. I think that's some pyramids of Mars. Wow, we literally just take we took a whole ass sarcophagus and put it in our pocket. It's impressive. There seems to be things on fire over there. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see those. Let's pick up a skull. Why not? Oh, it's got the seal of Rassilon on this thing. Ah, there we go. It looks like a couple of a perfect fit. Wind it up and let's see if it still works. Good evening, my friend. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sir Manfred Grail, collector no. of objet d'art and singular ephemera. I know who you are. And your companion, Emma. 
Does that surprise you? It shouldn't. You have invaded my home before. Many times. I'm aware you seek the covenant of Mother's Grail. If you are to reach the covenant, you must... mysteries and it will take you to the crypts below my home here you will find the cabinet the cabinet is guarded by my angels although i suspect that since the changes they may no longer be my angels your angels and will destroy me as they will surely destroy you too my friend my final warning whatever you do don't no no no! Well. dead now. One for a big fat boy, but Angel's still hungry. Angel's still hungry. Angel's feast on you. Angel's feast on you. Angel's eat you. No thanks. We're coming to get you. No. We're coming to get you. Cry baby floating. Oh, I really don't like that. Shut up. You know what the scary thing is? The voices aren't coming from the phonograph anymore. Do me a favor. Give that crank on the phonograph another spin. And let's see what this room will look like when we've left. Oh, okay, that key. Well, we've got a swanky new room to explore. Hop to it. Look at that flame. I think we're on the right track. Mm. Just burnt a book. Put a leaf on it. Because it wouldn't let me drop it, so I knew it was important. I think that's another important one. Let's put that uh, in. Wrong one. Let's try again. Oh. Whoops. Some of these fancy books match the bugs in the painting above the fireplace. Oh, it's to do with the painting. Okay. It's got three of the books. That's mine too, thanks. Ah, bow tie! Bow ties are cool. That one's definitely last. Not that one. I think that, one, that one's first, because we know that already. Okay. I think it's that Whoa. one. Look at that flame. That. I think we're on the right track. Then that one. Okay. And the next one. Then that one. Sorry, Grail. It's for the good of the universe. And that one. The books need to be burnt in a certain Ooh, order. Hello. Whoa. Did not expect that. Let's follow it. Free me. Use the flames. Oh. What a creepy painting. Mm. Oh, Fez. Let me out the fairs, I want it. Okay, use the flames to free it. Did that painting just move? What? Did what painting just move? Guess we want the candle. Are we gonna light this one with it? Oh my god, I hate that. Flames are key. Oh, 
There's something about that voice that really gets under my skin. Can we oh. listen to the demon painting before she gets annoyed? Yeah, I wish the painting would shut up, to be honest. Bring me home into the light. I don't think I want to when he's talk like that. Someone just opened it. This is a terrible idea. No, oh, no. Ah! That's exactly what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> nice to have jumped. A key. Wait a second. The insignia matches the lock on the base of that polygon. Thanks. Do I dare look away from it? Okay, bye. Gah. Bloody weepy angels. You can do this. I don't know if I can. I'm very tense. This is actually really quite creepy. <gasps> no, 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 no. What do I do? I can't look away from it though. Oh. Okay. Oh, what if there's one right behind me right now? Oh, this is <sighs> awful. Oh, fuck. I must insist you stop. <laughs> 